Right. Okay, um, she starts up, uh, it says the conversation started Friday at 4.37 p.m. I have to forward an urgent message to his colleague, Emeritus Benedict XVI, and then she's written it in um, German, and then says, could you please give me an email address? And then, es geht um Brian and then there's a response in German, and then says, if you speak English, dear friend, I'm afraid it is impossible to contact the Holy Father Emeritus Benedict XVI. If you truly wish to speak with him, visit Castel Gandolfo and contact the Prefect of the Papal Household, Archbishop George. I'm serious, it's worth a try. If, however, the reason you speak to him is because of, as you mentioned, Brian Menegolite Marshall who claims he is Christ Jesus, then the answer is... Um, Uh, please, then the answer is the Holy Father, even though he resigned his pontiff, is still very busy and his time is precious. Please don't waste it. And then five hours later, oh no, uh, more than that, that was 12.39 a.m. and then at 5.40 p.m. says, so Dear Miss Andrea Anna, regarding what you posted on Roman pontiff element community note and attachment, here is our heartfelt response. Firstly, the Holy Father can read and write in English. You do not have to translate your messages into his native German language, but thank you for offering to do so. Secondly, he does not recall any letter written as a child to Jesus as he stated he does. Thirdly, I made it very clear in my previous message to you that Pope Emeritus is in absolutely no mood to hear about Mr. Leonard Golightly, who claims he is the Christ. And then... What time's that? Um... Oh, that was at uh, 5.40. PM? PM, yes. Then it says, Dear friend, the second coming has most definitely not occurred and no one knows when it will, not even the former Pope. We, the people who run this page, would like to ask you the following questions and desire from you immediate response. Are you Catholic? Where in the world do you live? If you are not Catholic, you are clearly a Christian. What Christian denomination do you belong to? May God bless you. And then they... Uh... Then to YouTube. Okay. And then... Okay, that was something else. And then Andrew's response at 5.45 was, I act on behalf of the return Christ. He is Catholic. I myself am Protestant. I live in Germany and the return Christ lives in Australia. Please give me a last answer. He has... Has he got the information and does he know who Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall is? Is this his personal answer that he doesn't want to hear about Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall? It is his personal answer. However, he would like you to please send us a photograph of Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall if possible. We would also like to thank you for your patience. Uh, Andrea said at 6, so that was at 5.51 p.m. and then 6 p.m. Thank you for answering me. I have published one photograph of him on my Facebook site Andrea Anna and then uh, they say thank you we have seen the photograph the Holy Father Emeritus will be typing to you personally at around um, it was 1900 Castel Gandalfo time you are lucky to have this opportunity God bless you and, and they said make that 1.30pm EST Andrea says thank you very much And then at 6.10 p.m., uh, he would like to type in English as there is no German accent features on this account. What time well. was that? Uh, this is 6.10 p.m. He would like to type in English as there are no German accent features on this account, as well as to better present this conversation to Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall. The conversation will end at exactly 2 p.m. EST. If it goes over 2 p.m., little 
bit, that's okay. We ask that you maintain a great amount of respect as you will be having an online conversation with the Pope Emeritus. Andrea says, yes, I understand. I hope I can tell all on behalf of him. He is not present at the moment because it is there in Australia, 3.16 a.m. in the morning. 3.16, hello! <laughs> Understandable, the people who run this page have set up a private Gmail address just for this occasion. You will be speaking to him at, uh, and that's the email that uh, was set up. The account will, oh, the account will be deleted after the conversation finishes. This is the only time you may type to him. Um, at 1.30 p.m. EST. Leave your computer or mobile device on during that time. Uh, and then, so she says, so do I have to stay here on Facebook or do I have to mail him? Please email him at the address only at that time. Okay, thank you again very much. At 1.30 EST, right? Yes, that is correct. You must begin the conversation because he doesn't know your email address. Yes, I have understood. Very good. Again, from all of us here maintaining the page, we would like to thank you for your patience and wish you well for your conversation with the Pope Emeritus. Uh, Andrea says, I'm so thankful that you took it seriously and you made this possible. God bless you much. They say, you are very welcome. And they say, know that anything the Pope Emeritus may say is none of our doing. He may or may not tolerate Mr. Leonard Marshall's claim to be the Messiah, but that is between you and his holiness. And then uh, the question is, can we have your email address that you will be using to speak to him? Just in case. Yes, you trust me, so I have to trust you. My email address is, and then she gave it. And then, it, and you will be using that to speak to him, correct? Yes. Or it is not suitable. Shall I take another one? No, this one is fine. Thanks. The Holy Father has just notified that that he wishes to start the conversation. So keep that email which you have sent us open. What time is it where you are living? It is. 1911 <laughs> Revelation PM so can I start now she said you're welcome the Pope told us he had his secretary send you something yes I got a nice picture from him you are also very kind I'm overwhelmed you are welcome thank you for your kindness and patience So that, that was that, and then the conversation was what we had this morning. We'll get that read it out. And this was the conversation. into my email. Joel, yeah. do me a favour, can you send that conversation that Andrea sent this morning um, it over to Yah's email? Because he sent it to mine earlier. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright, there's another. Send it to Yahweh. Linux mail, Yahweh, Linux mail. Don't walk. Okay, and she's got a screen capture of His Holiness, the Roman Pontiff Emeritus, now speaks. This is awesome. That was at 1918. 1918? 1918, yes. Sounds like a revelation to me. Sure does. And then 
her response was 1919. Yeah. So that was the beginning of the conversation. I just sent a message <laughs> to Andrea, you were amazing. I just finished reading and recording your conversation. Here it is. Okay, so this is again the conversation from this morning. Dear Holiness, my name is Andrea Leinick. I'm a German woman. I'm very glad and thankful that you can give me an audience now. I'm acting on behalf of Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall. He did send you documents. Did you get them? He wanted to make sure that you will get them personally, so my task was it to make contact. Um, he wanted he wanted to me to let you know that the Christ is back and the name is Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall and that Christ wants him not to resign. Tell him that Christ knows the church has been under attack by the Jews who call themselves Jews and are not and they have infiltrated by the enemy of all mankind. All of the filth is because of the infiltration of the Jews. Rothschild are the devil behind all. Greetings, I am the Roman Pontiff Emeritus Benedict XVI. Your name is Andrea Anna, I presume. I did not receive any documents from Mr. Brian and Golightly Marshall, nor did I know he sent them. I have already resigned you into an advanced age of 85 and I long, no longer have the strength to continue the Petrine ministry. I cannot be Pope again. The Christ, my dear Andrea, has not returned. Only Almighty God knows when he will do so. Uh, and then she says, he asked furthermore if it is possible that he can speak to you personally and or if you have a personal email, address, fax or phone number. He wants to send documents to you. He told me to tell you that you have done it right and that you are not to uh, make responsible for what happened. He himself is available under the phone number Australia, pre-dial and then the number and his Skype name too. I can understand that being the, uh, the Holy Pope is a very exhausting, <coughs> exhausting task. May I then send the documents to you now which he wanted to send to you. Yes, you may send those documents now. Tell him that the Holy Father imparts his apostolic blessing. <laughs> mm -hmm. I did send them. Yes, send those documents now. Tell Mr. Brian Lenigo Lightly Marshall that I impart my apostolic blessing. Love it. Thank you for your blessings, Holy Father. All I can tell you is that I have studied all what he told me now for three years and I beg you to take the time to study it. Tell Mr. Brian Lenigo Lightning Marshall to email me on this email at once, and it was that one. Um, I'm sure he will write you as soon as possible. In the moment, it is 4.41 a.m. in the morning in Australia. I tried to reach him, but I didn't. Yes, tell him to speak to me through this email. Tell him that the Pope is awaiting his response at once. Thank you very much, Holy Father. Berlin um, in German. Andrea Linick, I am very thankful that you have granted me the time to tell this. I wish you good health and God bless you. Andrea Linick, yes, I will tell him this. Good night, Holy Father. And then he says, thank you for being so helpful, Andrea. May God bless you. Good night. Oh. Right. Oh. Take that out and do the German tree run. Okay, I'll do it right now. Okay, so this has got to be uploaded, right? Yes. Yeah.